a spirit that is not afraid. This familiar statement comes from the fourth stanza of the Auburn Creed. We've seen this etched into our buildings and printed on t-shirts and hanging on our walls. It identifies an Auburn woman or man as one who will never give up. Athletics and business and academics and the military have all carried this torch as Auburn grads assume positions within these and many postgraduate vocations. We see it personified every Saturday as our eagle makes its flight to the center of Pat Dye Field. The words before a spirit is not afraid are these. I believe in a sound mind, in a sound body. In 2012, our next lamplighter was diagnosed with ocular melanoma, eye cancer. At the time, she was raising four children, fighting a battle versus a determined adversary. This type of cancer is found in almost 3,500 American citizens annually. It's not common, but it's just as mean. Their family lives by the Red Sea rules. The enemy is closing, the water is deep, the options are limited, but the Lord will meet us where we are. As Moses led his people through the Red Sea, she confidently waits for God to lead her through the next battle with this enemy, and the next, and the next. Her path for recent treatment was decided upon in Philadelphia, the Thomas Jefferson Hospital. This included multiple visits, weekly trips. She was accepted into a trial with a hope and a prayer, but the Red Sea rules. A spirit that is not afraid and never ceases. These trips have become outreach efforts. This is a person whose demeanor is always as bright as the sun and whose personality resonates, just as you would expect from a for former warrior girl. In her mind, this wasn't about her. It was always about them. So who is them? Miss D. At the, at the cafeteria that she always went to, our next lamplighter, Miss D, would sit there by herself at a table. So she sat down and made a friend of, with Miss D. The two ended up sharing the same birthday. They had the same career. And today, they are friends. Who else is them? It's Christy and Eddie, her nurses, who purchased Outlive Cancer shirts from Coach Pearl's efforts and gave her a big old war eagle and complimentary Southern draw. Who is them? It's a regular Uber driver from another country who continues to provide her encouragement, scripture and other readings and diet recommendations for her continued fight. And who else is them? It's the local group of friends and family who occupy their role as partner and helper to allow her to make every one of these trips to Philadelphia. They are there to help her, but instead they receive a lifetime of memories as they watch a special person care for all of those who are trying to care for her. Since 2012, her, her body has fought to be sound. She has lost one eye, but it was replaced by a heart made of gold. Her smile is a, to a window into her soul, one where the Red Sea rules guide her future. Day after day, she cares and loves for people, loves people in all in Philadelphia, at the airport, in her neighborhood, at diners and treatment rooms. This war eagle girl fights for a sound body with a spirit that is not afraid. The people she touches are always change. The Red Sea rules never go away. Just look at her smile. Our next lamplighter is Ashley McCreary. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 